Cornerback Ross Cockrell down with a broken leg. With teammates consoling him, he would be carted off. Unfortunately, lost for the season. So I spent a very long time just learning to walk and run again. I've been looking forward to this moment, been dreaming of it for about a year now. I was brought here to make plays, and that's what I'm going to do. Kyle Allen, this young man's journey has been interesting. He realizes his opportunity. Allen going deep, touchdown! And I think it's the way it's been in my entire career. I think you're always fighting for your job, and it's just become a way of life. So for me, it's huge, but I mean, every day is huge for me. Here is Elijah Holyfield, the son of Evander 479. He's not a burner. It's been a long offseason so far, so when you're at camp, you kind of don't have to worry about the outside distractions as much. But it does add a little chip, you know. I would like to bring like a toughness and an attitude to this camp. I just want to be on the 53-man roster. Each year in late July, the Carolina Panthers arrive in Spartanburg, South Carolina with 90 men. By late August, that number will be cut nearly in half. This is where I'm staying for the next couple of weeks. They compete here at Wofford College. They fight for one cause, to make the 53. If anyone knows what it means to fight, it's Elijah Holyfield, a son of the former undisputed world heavyweight champion Evander Holyfield. Elijah arrives at his first training camp in a battle for a spot behind all-pro running back Christian McCaffrey. In his first practice, Holyfield shows obvious toughness and burst, but he makes a mistake an undrafted player can't afford to make. So as darkness envelops the field, and after the rest of his teammates have left, Holyfield remains. Another day to prove his worth. I had that, and that kind of started off my day kind of bad, but I kind of bounced back, and so that's kind of my everyday thing. I, I catch 100 after practice every day, but uh, like I said, yeah, I can't, I can't. I, that that bugs me the most. So, uh, so this off season, I've just been grinding every day, two times a day, and uh, just really all for this, you know. So uh, these next couple weeks will be very fun, and I'm, I'm looking forward to having the work that I put in come out. When I come back here, I usually just uh, watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine just because it's like dumb humor and I don't have to pay attention. Kyle Allen is in the second year of his fight, an undrafted rookie in 2018. He's had to earn every rep he's ever received. Allen spent seven weeks last season without a job until the Panthers called him back to the practice squad. Another seven weeks later, he showed flashes of brilliance in a season-ending win at New Orleans. Allen to the end zone, touchdown! I think for me, after playing last year as a backup those last eight weeks, you just always gotta be ready to go. And so for me, it's like a sense of urgency, it's a sense of preparedness, and just like an overall confidence that I'm gonna be ready to go when my number's called. And that's how it is in practice, right? You're getting reps here, you're getting reps there, you're getting called every now and then. You just gotta be ready to go when your number's called. And so for me, that's making sure that I'm prepared, no matter how long it takes, short or long, and that I'm confident in what we're doing. So when my number's called, during now or during the season, I'm ready to go. Still, this offseason, the Panthers added third-round pick Will Greer to a backup quarterback competition that includes Taylor Heineke. Through the first few days at camp, Allen picks up where he left off. Coach Scott Turner takes notice. It's a good read, Kyle. It's a way to get it out. But Allen still has a ways to go to secure a spot on the 53. Entering his sixth season, Ross Cockrell returns to the place that threatened to end his career. A year ago, he suffered a gruesome injury, fracturing his left tibia and fibula. To get back here meant battling through rehab, doubts, and demons. I've had some time to dwell on it. I've had a year to dwell on uh, what happened to me. 
out here last year. Um, it happened for a good reason. As far as I'm concerned, I just want to be a designated playmaker. And when the opportunity presents itself, I'll go out there and go grab it and make some big plays for this team. To stay here, he'll need to show playmaking ability and veteran leadership. That part mouth, mouth, comes naturally. Mouth, mouth, mouth. Get to the man. Nice, Ross. So far, so good. I like it. That's why secondary coach Perry Fuel picks Cockrell to break down his group at the end of practice. Ross Cockrell, you're going to break us down, and then we'll get a quick little stretch in, OK? Hey, man, y'all don't forget the stretch, most important thing. <laughs> These on two. One, two. Please. Let's get a quick stretch. For all three men, the next two and a half weeks are a proving ground. Every day represents a challenge. But each practice represents an opportunity. This is their fight to make the 53.